after transferring data to the computer, Aeron patent algorithm optimize and prepare point clouds for the output extraction. Um, and a very smart, clever, and fully controlled data post-processing enables to optimize the survey done. So let's move now to the software. Uh, the post-processing is composed of a few steps and uh, can be run automatically or uh, by what we call advanced mode. And uh, guys, this is really what I like most uh, because we can always check what is going on into the software by selecting, changing, and modifying the multiple parameters that you can see uh, on my right side, of, uh, right side of the screen. And uh, uh, all these parameters is available in the software. Uh, the post-processing is composed of few steps. So starting from the trajectory recomputation that we are looking right now, where we can easily solve uh, possible issues occurred while scanning, uh, the software suggests some preset uh, uh, defined depending on the environment, like for example, if I am working in indoor or outdoor, etc. But uh, we can always set up the parameters at our convenience. Uh, mm, we can also check the quality of the trajectory because if green, it is of course great, if red or uh, if you see the trajectory sliding, uh, hey guy, it means uh, uh, something is going wrong and uh, I have to act. So um, let's see, for example, um, let me jump to an interesting point. I think you want to see how to fix the problem instead of looking at the green trajectory. Um, if you look at the uh, trajectory behavior, uh, right now, you will see that uh, the trajectory is going on, then back, ahead again. I mean, it is sliding. And uh, this behavior is expected um, if you look uh, at uh, the um, scanned area. On the left, uh, if you see, we have some geometries, the, the stockpile, even not so much. On the right, we have almost nothing and we have a large ground area. So uh, we expect uh, some kind of behavior and uh, how do we, uh, what, what we have to do to work it out? Going back on site, definitely not, but we can change some parameters. So for example, here I have changed the minimum distance in order to recompute the trajectory and Aaron can, or better, so, sorry, the software can solve the issue. So it means that during the post-processing and especially during the trajectory computation, you can always stop, change parameters, and then go back and go on. So you can really interact uh, with the software in order to find out the best, we can say, parameters in order to optimize your... Uh, um, your process. So um, when, let me jump to the end of the process because I think that uh, uh, I, don't, I do not want to waste your time. Um, when the process is end, and so when you have all your green trajectory, we can move up to the second step. So you can accept the result if you like. If you don't like, you can run again the process, changing parameters, as we have seen. And we can now move to the second step. The second step is what we call 3D local maps creation. Uh, the local map patent algorithm allows to subdivide our acquisition into areas without drift. So uh, in a certain way, in maps without drift. Um, each local map is defined by a different color, as you see here. Uh, and for the trajectory recomputation, we can check, interact with the software by setting and change the different parameters that you can always find on the right side of, the, of your screen. Um, let me jump again uh, here. Because uh, when the uh, algorithm uh, has finished to uh, create the local map, uh, we can run what we call the global optimization. And uh, at first, we will see that all the local maps are connected 
sequentially. So the first with the second, the second with the third, and so on. In order to optimize their connection, I can add manually some connection. So for example, in this case, you see that the scans are not uh, pretty well registered, so I can uh, uh, optimize them and then update all my matches, or I can run this process also automatically. So I can uh, run the automatic selection and in which process you see starting for from, far from the, the screen, that the software is creating connection. So is connecting the different local map, each other, in order to create a sort of, um, how to say, um, stable network of connection. Uh, this process can take a while. It depends, of course, of the object, uh, on how big is the survey, on how many connections you want to run, the parameters that you have checked and everything. And let me see, when the process is end, you can of course save your process, you can delete some bad connection. Um, and for example, you can check the result. In this case, for example, you can run the final optimization, okay? And then you can do your final check of uh, uh, the result. Let me see. Okay, for example, if you uh, look at the uh, error, you can, uh, for example, delete the biggest error or uh, um, in order to optimize better uh, your, uh, yeah, your cluster. And uh, of course, uh, if you uh, run a sort of modification in one connection, automatically all the other will be connected. And uh, um, you can, of course, also check in 3D by um, uploading, uh, by showing some scans, um, how they are matching in 3D. So you have the fully control of uh, uh, what is going on and always checking uh, the result. Uh, um, of this process.